Welcome back! Today we are giving you the 15 ideal tank mates for your platies. From the beautiful betta fish to the curious Cory catfish, prepare for a perfect blend of aquatic harmony and diversity in your aquariums. Starting the list with these cuties called mollies. Mollies and platies share numerous similarities, making them excellent companions in a tank. Like platies, mollies display a diverse range of color variations and their wonderful trait is being live-bearing fish. However, mollies are larger, reaching up to 5 inches in length, which requires a tank size of at least 30 gallons to accommodate these robust and resilient aquatic species. They can really display a fantastic wonder in your tank. Up next is the guppy. Guppies are like mollies and platies, they are live bearers, but they are distinguished by their smaller, slender physique and vibrant colors. These friendly fish prefer water that's not too acidic, so remember this when adding them to your tank with other fish. Also, there are many more types of guppies, but the smaller and more colorful ones are always the males. Additionally, guppies have lots of babies, but the other fish in the tank usually eat them, so putting them with platy fish is a wise choice. Third, we have the flamboyant honey gourami. One of the more peaceful gourami fish available in the hobby, honey gourami has a unique yellow coloration and only grows up to 2 inches in length. They thrive in similar tank conditions with platy fish. Also, they're interesting relatives of betta fish and can be kept in solo or pairs, adding a touch of beauty and diversity to your aquarium. Up next, we have betta fish. Betta fish are widely admired for their stunning appearance and can thrive in a compact 5 gallon tank or larger. They're typically solitary and can be aggressive, but they can thrive in a community setting if they're the only betta in the tank and tank mates are carefully selected. If you choose to add one, select a betta with a different color than your platies, and avoid introducing betta with long fins if you have platy fish. This helps prevent any confusion where the betta might just mistake platies for other bettas. Introduce just one male or female betta, ensuring ample hiding spots and a spacious tank to prevent aggression in a confined space. Not sure which betta breed to add? We've got an entire video all about them. Check it out in the card above. Fifth, we've got Zebra Danios. The Zebra Danio is such a great community fish, and they get along perfectly with platies. Just keep these hardy fish in a school of at least six individuals, but more is better to enjoy their natural behaviors and to curb the aggression among themselves. They're very fast and active fish, so add them to a community tank of at least 20 gallons or larger. Swimming in the bottom, our number six fish is the Cory Catfish. Introducing some bottom dwellers to your platy community tank can bring a new dimension of activity and fascination. And the Corridors Catfish is an excellent choice for this, as they'll make for an amazing companion for your platies. Various species such as the spotted, speckled, and striped options could really make such a great addition to your platy tank. Also, you don't have to worry as much about their care requirements as they're pretty similar, but still it's wise to review the requirements of each species. An insider tip? Purchase small groups of at least five specimens to enjoy their entertaining social interactions. Then there's the bristlenose pleco for our seventh spot. Well, well, well. Our bristlenose pleco stands out as a unique species on this list, offering an excellent option for small bottom dwellers that aid in controlling algae in your tank. While generally peaceful, they may engage in conflicts if kept in multiples, so to ensure their well-being, provide them with ample driftwood for grazing and hiding spots for a content and healthy environment. Listen, we aren't joking around with the Harlequin Raspora. Among the diverse Raspora species in the aquarium hobby, the Harlequin Raspora emerged as a popular choice for community tanks. With striking black triangular markings, these beautiful schooling fish are easy to care for and harmonize well with platies. These types are social beings, thriving in small groups that allow you to appreciate their full charm. Other raspora types can work too, but we'd say it's wise to avoid very small ones like chili rasporas as they might feel intimidated or even become prey for larger tank mates. Next up, Crossus Otos Inglis. Wow, where did that come from? As so you now know, platy fish do eat algae, but they're not always able to keep their tank completely clean. Hence, a great addition and perfect for this role is the amazing little Otosynclus catfish to control algal bloom in your community tank. Adding to that is that these tiny fish are really fascinating to watch. They rely on a steady algae supply to stay healthy, so avoid adding them to a new aquarium without a good food source. And they're completely vegetarian. So this is one species that you can safely keep without worrying and injecting worry into your platies. Just be sure to do supplemental feedings. They're known for eating their natural algae food supply and starving to death if not directly fed. 
A colorful splash for our number 10 fish. Here is the Bozeman's Rainbow Fish. This is a medium-sized species that adds a vibrant touch to any aquarium with its eye-catching appearance. Featuring neon blue shades on front and a vivid yellow-orange on the back, these fish create a striking two-tone effect. But to ensure their happiness, keep them in a group of at least six in the tank and 30 gallons or more of space. Just so you know, Bozeman's Rainbow Fish is just one among the many fantastic species in this family. So if you're interested in this little fella, check out our guide to the 15 popular types of rainbow fish to discover other captivating options for your aquarium. Check out the card at the top for the video. And here's our next fish, the White Cloud Mountain Minnow. White Cloud Mountain Minnows are graceful and peaceful freshwater fish that could also make excellent companions for platyfish in a community tank. Driving in tanks as small as 15 gallons, these small fish offer cool varieties such as long-tailed and golden options. However, it is crucial to note that their natural habitat is cold water streams, so it'll restrict their compatibility with platys to water temperatures of 68 to 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Just make some considerations though, because they could really offer an outlandish display and a ton of fun. Light it up to your new fish, the Neon Tetra. Neon Tetras have earned their popularity as one of the most common aquarium fish for a reason here, people. These brilliantly colored schooling fish are not only stunning, but also exceptionally peaceful, making them an ideal companion for platyfish in your tank. Flourishing in well-maintained community aquariums, they do best in groups of six or more, as they thrive on social interactions and schooling behavior. Another tetra we love is the Ember Tetra. Hailing from the, you guessed it, tetra family, the Ember Tetra adds to the roster of fantastic tropical fish and is a great play buddy for platys. These vibrant schooling fish, despite their small size, make an excellent choice as tank mates, especially if space is limited. With their bright orange hue, Ember Tetras create a visually appealing contrast, particularly enhancing the beauty of colorful platy breeds like the Sunset Variatus Platy in a well-planted community aquarium. Next up, the Angelic Angelfish. These centerpiece fish stand out as beloved choices in the aquarium industry, serving as an ideal centerpiece for your tropical freshwater tank. With remarkably long anal and dorsal fins, these fish have a distinctive height that surpasses their length. While on the larger side, these stunning South American cichlids can be an excellent companion for your platys as well. But it's more important to note that adult angelfish have the potential to consume small fish. So ensure your platys are fully grown to maintain harmony in the tank. We've got a whole video about angelfish you can check out. It's another card at the top of your screen. Check out this top dwelling fish. Here is the hatchetfish. Hatchetfish make an exceptional addition to tropical aquariums with their unique surface dwelling behavior. Growing at just over an inch long, but possessing the ability to jump out of the tank, it's critical to securely cover your aquarium to prevent escapes. These schooling fish can be a little on the sensitive side, so they're better suited to more experienced aquarium hobbyists. Keep a nice school of at least six of their own kind and maintain great water quality to keep these fascinating fish in great shape. Now that you know what fish will go well with platys, let's learn more about them. Platyfish are small, colorful freshwater fish and they hail all the way from Central America. Platys come in various hues and are known for their peaceful nature, which is why they make for a wonderful community fish with a myriad of potential tank mates. There are two species of platys the southern platy, or Zipophorus maculatus, and the variable platy, X variatus. Selective breeding has given rise to a captivating array of platyfish breeds, boasting distinct characteristics such as a variegated platy, Mickey Mouse platy, swordtail platy, high fin platy, wagtail platy, and balloon platy. Now, even though there might be a couple of them, the good news is that all these types have pretty much the same requirements, so let's discuss how to take care of them. Just stick to the guidelines and they should do great. First is aquarium size and parameters. Since platyfish originate from the warm waters of Mexico, Central America, and South America, they thrive in tropical temperatures ranging from 68 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. And so they demand the use of an aquarium heater to replicate that natural habitat. Highly adaptable, these fish flourish within pH levels of 7 to 8.2, a water hardness between 10 and 30 dGH, and a minimum tank size of 15 gallons. They're ideal for small tanks and can coexist with other species in a 30 gallon or larger tank. But let's talk maintenance. Of course, it goes without saying that platyfish need good water quality. 
That means their tank needs a good quality aquarium filter and regular maintenance, including partial water changes. And if you haven't gotten one, we suggest getting yourself a water test kit to monitor the water quality and parameters in your tank. But of course, let's talk feeding. Flatty fish have a versatile and easy to manage diet, which aligns well with the feeding preferences of most tank mates discussed here. Just feed them once or twice a day, offering only what they can consume in a few minutes. A daily regimen of high quality flake or micro pellet food makes feeding easy. However, supplement every few days with small portions of cultured live, freeze dried, or frozen foods to enhance their nutritional intake. Be attentive also to specific dietary needs if any tank mates required a specialized diet. Now for breeding platies. Breeding platyfish is straightforward, but protecting their vulnerable fry is the tough part. To ensure the survival of the live free swimming fry, it's advisable to set up a separate breeding tank. When a female platy is pregnant, move her to the safe environment for giving birth, providing a secure space for small fish to grow without the risk of predation from other fish, including their own kind. Another thing you might be wondering is where to buy these fish. These fish are easily found at virtually any fish store or pet store you can find locally. However, I understand there aren't a lot of great fish stores around. One great option I prefer to use is online, namely from Flip Aquatics. I love them most because they quarantine all their fish, so you'll always get healthy livestock when you buy from them. Also, you can use our promo code when checking out with ASD Flip Promo for a discount. That's ASD F L I P P R O M O. And your purchase will also help out our channel. If you're not ready to purchase, you can also just visit our site. Every visit to our website helps, even if you don't buy anything. You can check out our official website in the card above. We always go into more detail than we can give in our videos right there in our blog posts. And our blogs are always up to date. And there you have it folks, the list of 15 ideal tank mates for your platies. So, whether you opt for the vibrant colors of neon tetras, the grace of white cloud minnows, the majestic presence of angelfish, or just anything in between, the key lies in understanding each species' unique needs. With that being said, let the harmony among your platies and friends create a mesmerizing spectacle. See you in the next wave. Oh. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And check out our videos on the right for more fishy goodness. Peace out.